Hey everybody, welcome back. We have a knife here sent to us from Concept Knives. This one is the Wedge. Now this is a Nick Swan design. It's got a really cool back lock feature. Let's take a look at what's in the box. I'm digging these pouches. A little poison for the trolls. Shout out to Floss. Okay. So in the package here, you get one of their microfiber cleaning cloths. Kind of cool. Got their branding on it. That's pretty fun. Now they did, they did submit this one. So we do have this one for a giveaway. I guess you can write a lot of your own stuff on the back of these. But there's their warranty information. What is covered. You can always contact their customer service right there. Pretty cool stuff. So I like that they spell it all out, put it in writing for you. Little concept branding on the knife pouch. Here's the knife right here. It's that beautiful JG10, natural G10. Got the back lock. Have a, a pretty long nail, what is that, like a nail groove right there. Beautiful stone wash blade. We're looking at 154 cm. You see the concept branding as well. Kind of a different take, you know, clip point on your gentleman's knife, a little more traditional style. Be kind of cool if they had a pocket clip, but it's pretty small for that. So great fifth pocket knife or just toss it in there. Now, stainless steel liners, you can see the cutouts for weight reduction on both sides. So that's pretty cool. This one comes in at 2.49 ounces. So pretty good. I like it also that, you know, if you're pushing on this, you're getting some really good cuts in there. You know, if you need to, you can obviously get your finger on that. So the clip point, kind of the shape right there is built right in. So you can get some really good detailed cuts going. I like this one. And it's going to run you right in the $70, $75 range, most retailers. You got the S there for Nick Swan, the Wedge. You got your model number there as well. Pivot hardware, all stainless steel. And that pack lock makes it very easy to close it. And you're not going to get yourself either way. Very strong back lock feature. I like that. They also have these in a lot of different colors. My guy, Big Red. I saw a beautiful red G10 one. I, I mean, if they had a blue G10, I'm in. I'm in, but I didn't see one yet. So I'll keep looking. Uh, overall, this is seven inches long. So pretty good size. Uh, blade length, 2.5 inches. Uh, the handle is three and a quarter inches. So large glove size hand. I can get three on there. Three full fingers. Fourth one kind of tucks in behind it. Makes it perfect for me. Large glove size hand. Overall... I think it's good. I think it's good that they went with the steel, the uh, the 154 cm. I'll wipe off the fingerprints. Let's do a couple comparisons. See what this this one looks like. We got the ZT0230 right here. So just a size comparison, pivot to pivot. You can see the wedge is a little bit smaller. But there's no lock on this one, so that's just a double D10 kind of half stop. You got the Benchmade proper, also no lock on that, but similar fashion in a clip point. A little bit smaller than the proper. So it gives you a good idea of kind of what you're looking at. We'll also do the Benchmade bug out just so you can see size wise. And of course, one that just hit the market, which is a great size comparison, the Benchmade Mini Osborne 945. So pretty good, you know, uh, $75 range, concept knives coming out, Nick Swan design. Overall, I think it's pretty good to go. Um, made in China for, by concept knives, sold at pretty much all your favorite knife retailers. Let me know what you think. Let me know if this back lock is for you. They also make one called the Bevy. Similar design, no back lock. So you'll see that one coming up as well.
but they sent this one out for review. So we're going to give it away. Hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure to do something kind for someone. Have an awesome rest of your day. Most importantly, take care.